Wow, I've never seen Bruno <laughs> run from anyone like that. And let's go on to our next matchup here. As Tammy is gonna go one on one against Sarah Warfield. And again, Tammy just doesn't know when to quit. I mean, the things that she's been saying, I mean, they're getting, starting to get out of hand, to be honest. Just, I mean, come on. I mean, it's still working with trying to get in, in her face. I mean, what? That doesn't make any sense at all. Come on, even Tammy should know that. But now she's in a situation where she's gonna go one on one against Sarah Warfield. But you got I have to say that it is Tammy's fault for for having the nerve to, to talk smack about Sarah Warfield. And Sarah Warfield did nothing wrong. I mean, she did the right thing, trying to stand up for herself against Tammy, just just talking that smack like she always does. Now here comes Sir Warfield. I mean, it should be interesting to see how Tammy does in this matchup here. I'm pretty much betting that Sir Warfield wins this match, hands down. Oh, so I got a little bit of time here. I know Global Warning is coming up, the second CPV of the same name. The first CPV was awesome last year. Let's see how this one does. I know there's a lot of, a lot more CPVs taking part in this year's Global Warning. But we'll see what happens then in that Global Warning, but right now, this match here. Former XGWO Women's Champion Sarah Warfield, the longest reigning champion in XGWO history for the women's title. Tammy holding that title four times before. Let's see how they do in this matchup. And here we go, the bell is sounded. And Tammy with a quick start of the matchup here. Getting up getting off to a good start here and a slap to the to the face of Sarah Wolf and just raking the back. Come on now. And now Tammy with that over the over the back face buster now. Sarah Warfield getting back up. A punch. And now Tammy with a forearm shot. Tammy with a hip toss and a little surprise there that Tammy was able to get Sarah Warfield up and over like that. Forearm shot now. Tammy sending Sarah Warfield to the to the corner. What a boot there by Tammy! Damn. And now Tammy showing more of an aggressive side here, trying to prove that she can hang with Sarah Warfield, which is hard to do. And a, a nice DDT right there. And now Sarah Warfield. Oh, what a body! Splash and now going to the ring apron and misses that springboard elbow. And I, I'm a little surprised that that Sarah Warfield could do moves like that. And now counter. Oh, what a clothesline knocking her down. And now Sarah Warfield with, with just a power slam and now going for the cover. Almost a two count. The clothesline attempt to Tammy with a kick. And now, go with a Tammy go round. Now, Sarah Warfield getting right back up. Had no effect on her. And now, Sarah Warfield back to the ring apron. Forearm shot by Sarah Warfield. Buying her some time to get back in the ring. And Sarah Warfield with another devastating clothesline. And now Tammy back up with a nice drop kick. And I, I mean, this has really got to stop with Tammy just with the... Like, she's at a photo shoot there. 
and a nice side Russian leg sweep. I mean, that was an impressive move there with the Russian leg sweep and just staying on the offensive. But I mean, Tam needs to stop going around the in the ring like it's like she's in America's Next Top Model. Um, I know Tyra Banks ain't calling to for a casting call there, Tammy. And now Tammy going to the outside. Now Tammy with a with a hot shot, buying her some time, going with another side Russian leg sweep, and just showing a lot of disrespect. They're just kicking her in the face. Come on! And now Tam Sarah Warfield getting back up. Now, exchange some punches there. Tam with a nice drop kick. I mean, if Tammy can really put things together, I mean, she can win some matches here and there. But I don't know. And I'll rake in the eyes there by Tammy. And I'll kick to the back. Now, Sarah Warfield with a jawbreaker. And there's a lot of resiliency in, in the part of Sarah Warfield. Showing the heart of a champion here. Now, Tammy with a leg lariat. Nicely done. And now, again, just slamming Warfield's head into the to the canvas. And now, Tammy about to go high risk. Nice, nice moonsault. And now, the cover. Now, come on. Uh, is this really necessary? But Tammy had to resort to such dirty tactics knowing that oh man what an impressive German suplex by Sir Warfield I mean Tammy is physically outmatched in this in this one I mean Sir Warfield that has 30 pounds on her um, let's be honest here and the strength advantage definitely going to Sir Warfield and the punch right there and a shoulder block. I mean, Tammy's got to got to rethink her strategy here, just because right now Sarah Warfield's in control of things. Right now, yeah. Damn, and Sarah Warfield just swatting her down. What we're we gonna see here? Modified camel clutch. Nicely executed, and now Tammy getting back up. And Tammy's not faring too well in this matchup right now. And oh man, what's this gonna be? Oh, what a flapjack! And now Sarah Warfield on the ring apron again. Well, Tammy getting back up, and there was no chance for. And now Tammy countering. Nicely done, and now Tammy going with another Tammy go round. That float over neck breaker. Now going for the cover, and Sarah Warfield able to kick out after two. Collar and elbow tie up. Who's gonna win this one? Tammy does, having a hold of the arm. A boot to the face right there. I mean. I mean, damn, what an STO there. I mean, I gotta say, I mean, Tammy is showing some... Looks like she has been improving her skills here in this matchup. Able to... To put flashes of of good work and just... Be able to try to do something here now. Sarah Warfield, what the... Oh, what a moonsault there. And... Now, Tammy getting back up. And Tammy looks like she her head is hurting a lot. Countered by Sarah Warfield throwing the punch. Oh, what a devastating clothesline by Sarah Warfield. And now, picking her up. And now, oh man, don't tell me that the Golden Axe is about to land here. Damn. That's gotta be it. Damn. I don't think Tammy's getting up after this one. The cover now. That's it. I mean, you, I mean, I can't be mad at Tammy for trying to win. She did put up a much better effort than 
than before, but I mean, it wasn't enough, I mean, to tell them Sarah Warfield with that devastating German suplex right there, and then later on in the matchup with this flapjack, just as much effort as Tammy put in, I mean, this golden axe was the final nail in the coffin. And Tammy just went limp after that one, which led to this cover. And that's all she wrote. A nice victory here for Sarah Warfield. I mean, I, I would like to say that Tammy had no chance in that matchup, but she did put some effort to, to, to try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe here, but it wasn't the case. But I gotta give her some credit for trying, though. That's all you can do against Sir Warfield, try to survive. And now going to the backyard, Andy talking with El Toro Extremo. We'll be right back. Rondo the Thirst Mutilator. It's like a monster, monster truck, truck you can pour into your, your face. face. It's got electrolytes. electrolytes. What are electrolytes? I don't know, but they're extremely awesome, and Brondo is full of them. And they help plants grow, which is why you should drink Brondo and not water, because water is from the toilet, and I've never seen plants grow out of a toilet. It's got caffeine, super extra caffeine, and five kinds of sugar, which makes it delicious, and much better than other energy drinks that are not delicious. Drinking it will make you wonder why you haven't ever crushed a human skull with your bare hands. But you won't have to because you'll already know that Rondo tastes how that would feel. Which is like having sex with a tractor trailer in a parking lot. I just split my pants like the Incredible Hulk. See that? Brondo will make you need new pants. And while you're out buying new pants, you should buy some new shoes because you're going to wear out your shoes from kicking everyone's ass all the time. Brondo will make you want to kick everyone's ass all the time. Which might be good or bad, but either way, you're going to win because Brondo will make you win in things you're not even supposed to win at, like yelling. Brondo will make you win at yelling. Or maybe instead of yelling, something else like jumping or waving. Because you'll be able to wave your hands really fast. And you'll probably become invisible, which doesn't even make any sense. But if that doesn't happen, then you'll probably just end up running somewhere. Which is good if you like running, but even if you don't, Brondo will make you win at exercise. <laughs> 